Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some plus size life hacks with you. So if you are plus size or you are curvy or whatever you want to call it, keep watching. So I've definitely learned through the years that there are certain things that we as plus size curvy women have to deal with that maybe other people don't have to deal with as much. So today I figured why not bring a life hacks video to you guys and we can like share and swap some of our tips. And I feel like this video is gonna be kinda long because I have a lot of tips. So sit back, get something to drink, get something to eat. Let's hang out together. My first tip is what I feel is the most important. Without enough of this, your whole life goes to crap, basically. That is sleep. So when David and I first moved to this house, we were sleeping on this like mattress that's not even a mattress. It's basically a memory foam topper, and it was just on the floor. It's really thin, it's not very comfortable. We were sleeping on that for years and years and years. And you can imagine, as a plus size woman, I would wake up in the morning and my back would just be killing me. So something fell from the heavens and came down on my lap and it's called the Big Fig Mattress. Now the Big Fig Mattress is like the first ever mattress designed for plus size bodies. Honestly, I feel like this is something that should have been a thing like 20 years ago, but I'm glad that we are now in 2018 where we have mattresses specifically designed for the curvier body. I love that. This mattress is really unique because you can actually hold up to, I believe it is 500 pounds on each side. So it's designated for even if you are a curvy couple and you have a husband who's, who's larger as well. My husband has like an athletic build and he's very thin, but he still loves the mattress. He thinks it is super comfortable and it was a win. And I was super excited about that because he's super picky about pretty much everything in life. So I was like, score, score. Setup was super easy. We actually got the white glove service. So the men came and installed it for me. They went up two flights of stairs, God bless them, because it was the middle of summer and I just felt so bad. <laughs> but they went up there, they set it up, and it was just a really quick process. I think it maybe took like a total of 30 minutes. We've now been sleeping on it for the past five months or so, and I just have to tell you how amazing it is and how amazing sleep I get on it. Sometimes I have to get off my bed and go back to that old topper because my kids are sick or like they need me or whatever, and I just feel like it's easier than sleeping in my bed. And every time I do it, I realize the difference, and it drives me crazy. And I realize how uncomfortable that was and how comfortable this is. That is my number one tip is to find a mattress that is designed for your body type. Big Fig is the mattress for that and they offer you guys $100 off your first mattress. So coupon code down below, make sure to go check it out. Now that we have sleep taken care of, the most important aspect, let's talk about a thing called chub rub. Now, you guys know exactly what chub rub is. I mean, I guess you can call it chafing or thigh rub. It's just hell. I have to tell you through the years, I've discovered some foolproof ways of preventing chub rub. So let's talk about those first. The first way to prevent is by using deodorant. You wanna get the powder kind and not the gel kind, because the gel kind ain't gonna do anything for your thighs. But the powder kind creates almost like a shield. So when your thighs rub together and you're sweating and it's hot, it doesn't do anything. Um, so that's super awesome. Also another thing that works for me that is wonderful is fractionated coconut oil. You can get this through like any essential oil company. Amazon probably has it, everywhere has it. So I love to use that. I put it in a roller ball and that way I'm able to just roll it on my thighs whenever I sense there's going to be some chub rub happening. And if you already have chafed thighs and you have like scabbing and it hurts and it's red and you can't even walk and you're walking like a penguin, you guys know what I'm talking about. All you have to do is add a few drops of lavender essential oil and it will heal almost immediately. What I like to do is I like to take a bath or a shower just to create a smooth surface for the skin. Then I will rub on the fractionated coconut oil with the lavender essential oil on my thighs, rub it in, and I'll just kind of air out my thighs for a little bit. I've noticed that it works really quickly in healing my thighs because lavender has healing properties and it's my favorite essential oil, it's awesome. My third tip is two words strapless bras. I'm a 38 triple D and I feel like I can never get my straps right because my cup is bigger and I think they just assume that my straps are gonna be longer. I don't really know. But sometimes I can tighten my straps all the way and they're still falling down and that drives me insane and I absolutely hate it. So that's one reason why I converted to strapless bras. The second reason is there's a nifty little thing with strapless bras and you can actually 
actually cover your back fat if you so desire. Obviously the front is still covering what's the most important, but you can move the back of your bra down to cover those rolls if you're feeling self-conscious or you just don't like the way that it looks and it covers it up very nicely. That's two reasons why I love strapless bras. I think they're awesome. I've never had any issue with the one that I wear. I wear it every single day. I wash it and then I wear it again and then I wash it and I wear it again. <laughs> Literally, I live on one bra, people. I'm always raving about it in every video. So it'll be linked down in the description box below. It's from Torrid and I think it's their push-up strapless, I think is what it's called, but it'll be down below. You'll thank me later. Tip number four is to get rid of those unwanted bulges. Some of you guys don't mind rocking your belly and I'm with you there. I could care less what people think about it. But you know, some days we have those days where we wake up and we're like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so self-conscious. Or maybe we have like a party coming up or an event where we have to wear something a little bit more fancy and we just wanna keep it a little bit more covered right there. Shapewear is awesome at flattening your stomach and just making everything look better. I mean, you're not gonna look overall like thinner, I don't feel like but it kind of just holds everything together and it makes you feel more polished. I recently did a shapewear video on this channel, so if you wanna see the befores and afters, definitely watch that video. It'll be down below in the description box. My next two tips are very important because if you order online a lot like I do, I just feel like these are some very good tips to know. Also, I feel like it will help you prevent going to the store and walking out feeling discouraged. We all have had those times where we walk into the dressing room with all these awesome clothing items and we cannot wait to try them on and one after the other after the other after the other nothing's fitting our body and everything just looks terrible on us and we're like why why is this happening to me i can tell you that one of the reasons why it's probably happening to you is because your fabrics are wrong you're choosing fabrics that don't stretch with curvy bodies and when we choose fabrics that don't stretch with curvy bodies it makes us feel like we are bigger and it just doesn't fit our body right so know your fabrics i actually have included a chart here Stop this video and screenshot this if you would like. It is super helpful in knowing which kind of materials are more stretchy and which ones do not stretch as much. This has saved me when I'm about to purchase something online, especially because I wanna know what the fabric is. This is a pretty good guide of that. Also, know your measurements. I feel like this is another tip that's gonna help you not feel frustrated and overwhelmed and just like, Every company has different sizes for everything. I mean, I can buy a pair of jeans at this store and buy a pair of jeans at this store and one of them's gonna fit and one of them's not. So knowing our measurements, uh, specific measurements, like your bust, your waist, your hips, your butt, all of that stuff is going to help you choose clothing that's gonna fit your body better so we can avoid feeling like we just are not gonna fit in anything because that's not true. There's stuff out there for all of us. Along with that, I just have to say it because I say it every video that I do tips. Guys, do not wear oversized t-shirts. Please, you're doing a disservice to yourself. And I know that you feel comfortable hiding your body with the back of your clothing, but really you're just making yourself look bigger. And also girl, like you can rock the same things that everybody else can. You just have to believe that you can. Confidence is key. We'll talk about that a little bit later in this video, but please wear some clothing that looks good on your body and it hugs your curves. Our clothing is supposed to accentuate our bodies and our curves. And so stop hiding behind baggy t-shirts. You're beautiful. Just saying. Okay, my next tip is definitely preaching to myself here. Make sure your posture is good because when your posture is good, it elongates your body and it actually makes you look taller and thinner. I feel like it just looks best in pictures. So I'll notice like when David's taking pictures of me or I'm taking pictures of myself with my little remote, if I'm bending over like this, it comes across as I'm not confident. It literally screams that out in the photo. So when I arch my back and put my shoulders back and I stand tall and I stand proud, I come across as more confident and I look more put together as a whole. And honestly, I just feel like that is the difference between somebody who can walk into a room and everyone can be like, wow, to the person that can't do that. Our posture definitely resonates with our confidence. And I've noticed sometimes it's just hard to sit up straight, especially for me, cause like I have a job where I'm bent over all the time, like editing videos and stuff. And I eat like that too. I'm very guilty. I like sitting there like hunched over. Um, so I've noticed when I'm having a hard time with it, all I have to do is a little bit of like yoga or Pilates stretches like that really stretch out my body as a whole. And they make me like naturally have better posture. I feel like, when you are slouched versus when you are standing up tall, there's like a 10 pound difference there. I just feel like it's very noticeable. And like I said, it kind of elongates you altogether. 
when you just stand up straight and tall and proud. My next tip is to wear high-waisted jeans because those are going to accentuate your waist. And with the high-waisted jeans, roll up your ankles once or twice at the bottom. Um, especially if you are short like me, I am five foot four inches, so I'm on the shorter side. And I've noticed that when I roll up the bottom of my pant leg, I usually have to roll it up twice but I don't roll it up that much, just a little bit. But when you roll them up, it draws attention to your ankles, which are another thin part of your body, and you don't have like that overhang of fabric coming down at the bottom of your feet. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. So when you wear the jeans and you roll up the ankles, it really just draws attention to your ankles and your waist, and you just look bomb bomb.com next tip is another jeans tip we all have had those pair of jeans where we are in between sizes and they don't fit they won't button and they won't close but they're our favorites and we have to wear them well i have the perfect solution for that so i've only done this a few times i swear because usually when i have jeans that don't fit me i'm like i'm just gonna resort to leggings like i could care less about jeans i'm a leggings girl 100 percent for all of you that love leggings more than jeans let me know in the comments but when i do have that pair of jeans that i just have to wear at that moment i'll just make sure that i wear a very loose flowy kind of shirt or one that's long enough that will cover my zipper area and i'll just take a hair tie and i will put it from the button of the pants to the circle like the hole and then i'll wrap it around back through the hole into the button the hair tie will actually hold your pants together for you just make sure that when you go to the bathroom, you don't forget about that because <laughs> I've had men fall off before and then like you go back out to wherever you're going and you're like, oh, there's a hole right here in my pants. Where did my hair tie go? Oops. So definitely hold on to that hair tie. Don't forget about it if you're going to use that trick, but it is very helpful. My last hack slash tip. This is the best one of all you guys. Confidence is sexy and confidence matters. Listen, even if you don't feel good about your body that day, or even if you are struggling with your confidence that day, you just have to kind of fake it till you make it. I've talked about this in previous videos as well. Lately, I've been having a hard time with my body. I have, and I'm very open and I'm very truthful with you guys about that. There are days when I don't wanna look in the mirror, I don't wanna go anywhere, I just wanna be like, nah, you're good. You can just sit on the couch and watch Netflix all day. But I know I have a life to live, and I have things I gotta do, and I got videos to make, and I got stories to push, and you guys do too. So how we combat that is we look in the mirror, and we basically realize what those lies are that we are saying about ourselves, and we bounce them right out of the mirror. Just go, nope, not true, not true, not true. You have to look in the mirror, you have to place yourself there, and you basically have to self-talk yourself sometimes, like, you're beautiful, you're awesome, you're amazing. And I'm telling you, after a while, these affirmations become truths in your life. At first, they might feel weird, but they become truths. The more positive things we say about ourselves, the more positive we are going to feel. So if you're having a crummy day, or a day where you don't feel confident, or a day that you just don't wanna do anything, you don't wanna look at yourself, you need to go to the mirror and you need to be speaking positive affirmations over yourself, girl. Because the fact is, you are beautiful, you are amazing. I know there's gonna be some haters in the comments that are like, you need to go work out and exercise. That's the hack here. Listen, some of us can't lose weight just by exercising and eating healthy. It doesn't come naturally to everybody. I know the haters aren't gonna watch all the way until the end of this video, but learn some compassion, people. Not all of us have the same body type, not all of us have the same genes. And that's one of the reasons why I'm always promoting body positivity on my channel, because I think it's very important to make you all aware that, yeah, your body looks different than this girl's over here, and her body might be thinner than yours. Or you may not like your body because you're too thin, and you may not like your body because you're too curvy, but listen, like we all have good bodies. Every body is a good body. The only reason why we look at ourselves in the mirror in the first place and pick ourselves apart is because society has taught us what the perfect body looks like. And I just call BS on all of it. There is a perfect body and it's called every single body. Rock that confidence, rock what your mama gave you, realize how amazing you are because that is really the truth. And if you need to watch this on a day when you are feeling crummy and you are not so sure of yourself, please do. You guys can find me on Instagram. You can connect with me over there as well. I'd love to hear your stories. Love to hear your hearts over there. But thank you guys for watching all of these tips. Let me know your favorite one. I hope that they were helpful. And if you guys have any additional tips, please put them down below. Don't forget to order a Big Fig mattress. If your current mattress is just not cutting it and you need something to support your body, they are totally awesome and I have nothing but good things to say about them from the beginning of the customer service all the way until the installation. It's just an amazing company and I can't wait to see them succeed. Don't forget to leave the secret emoji and if you're brand new, make sure you let me know so I can say hi to you. And personally, thank you for watching and we will see you guys in our next video. 
Have an amazing day.